Cam. Promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I remember. You knew. You always knew. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. <sighs> you found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible. To live life one day at a time. Gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. It was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam. I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. <laughs> but you and the others came together, connected. And you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam.
A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. So technically, I think it's episode 14 is like the, um, the epilogue and then 15 is like you continue the game basically and you can run around do like side missions, things like that. Hold on. Uh. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like we're on the moon, but not on the moon. about them all the time the truth is those weren't your dreams they were mine for as long as i can remember i've dreamt of the beach not just while sleeping in my waking hours too in my dreams i watched the world end so many times countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding as I have today. Hideo Kojima. Kojima. Yano. Uh, 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 
That's how you do the double jump. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget. My ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Only Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Am um, is French for soul. It's a lie. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. <laughs> I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. More running and credits. <laughs> Looks like that hurt. There we go. Take a seat. was connected to the world of the dead. 
which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So I started researching bridge babies, children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little E.E. -E. And then, <laughs> just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow... Life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Very deep. <laughs> yeah. Just do some sprints All right from this rock. Two. 
this one. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Same, same. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. <laughs> I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Yeah, I think it's technically Look, supposed to be Sam. like, like blacked out, you are. I guess. I don't know. So that's baby, baby Sam. from death once and for all it's okay I know the way but in doing so I upset the fundamental balance between life and death I just wanted to save you entity it's my fate to lead our species to extinction but that moment you became part of that fate you became a repatriate and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world it was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this not long after the death stranding occurred the dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options. I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation.
at face. <gasps> Where are you taking me? has a role to play. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. Look. There's things. In the air. God, what is going on with that? No. Ah. Oh. Oh. No. Ah. Run. 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 You're still connected. Good. At least we got an S on that. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another. 
divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part <laughs> of that past. An enduring shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great! Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up 
and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside? How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. <laughs> but don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDA.